This is match number 10. It's between alliances one and two. This is a matchup you would often see in round five or the finals, and we're already seeing it here in round three here at Northwest District Champs, and it's already a spicy one. 21 points on the board for either alliance. Make that 26 as one last speaker note flies for the red alliance. And now the drivers will take control. Code Purple's back at it after a rather stuttering stop on the midline in the autonomous period. That did give them much better positioning for later teleoperated score. Two points for them, five points for the Alliance partners, Jack and the Bot. Five more points from Bare Metal, and now the collisions begin. Cert powers their way across and asserts their placement near the Red Alliance source, grabs the note, and then Bare Metal high fives them back in the face on the way back across their own side of the field. They leave the note next to them for Jack and the Bot. Jack and the Bot rejects that gift, it <laughs> gets re gifted right back to Bare Metal, who now has to score it in the lower amp goal there while Jack and the Bot focuses on their speaker. They trail by 24 points. Here's the Storm Bots and here's the Alliance partners of Saints Robotics making their rounds across the field now, now disconnected on their cycle. Here's Cert, one after another and another. Storm Bots just went to the amp to pick up the one-pointer, Saints Robotics, five points there for the amplified speaker. About a minute left to play. There's Cert, five more points. Stormbots, five more. And that's probably it for that amplification cycle. But at this point, all bets are off when trying to predict the cycle times of this red alliance. Bare Metal gets chased all the way out of the woods there by Saints Robotics. They have to go to their own source. Saints really on an offensive cycle, but they decide to smash and crash them into Jack and the Bot. Jack and the Bot there, sponsored by the Swerve Drive specialists themselves, and still took a while to get out of the way of that Saints machine. The notes bounce off the side wall of their alliance, but a few of them finally connecting with the speaker for two points apiece. At this point, however, the score margin is nearly a two to one ratio as our end game buzzer sounds. Now there's officially parts flying across the field, although I think that might just be a pool noodle Blue Alliance making their way airborne. Red Alliance also, there's the Stormbots, not spotlit. However, getting the trap note that they missed last time. And that's gonna be actually it for robots on the stage on red. Two are parked under it. The Blue Alliance with one robot airborne up on stage and one park. We'll be back in a while after we have some time to chew on this one and find a score for you. Scores are in for playoffs match number 10. The Red Alliance, Alliance number two, will remain in the lower bracket. 120 points to the Blue Alliance's 
70, and Alliance 1 is eliminated. And with that, we have a quick congratulations in order for making it to round three. The Alliance captain, 2046, Bear Metal, their first pick, 2910, Jack and the Bot, their second pick, 9036, Ramen Robotics, and the backup bot they tapped in there later on, 5827, Code Purple. Brett, I, I think <laughs> there's a lot to digest from round three. Yeah, so first of all, we're going to spend a lot of time talking about this number one alliance, but we cannot overlook the number two alliance in their performance. So congratulations to them moving on. Outstanding work. We have to call out the, the end of the streak. Team 2910 had won 16 consecutive Pacific Northwest District or Championship events dating back to 2018. That is an incredible accomplishment. And we want to shout out 2910 for their efforts. The last time they competed in the Pacific Northwest and failed to win the event was at the District Championships in 2018. Cool. So amazing work for them. We're going to see them at the World Championship. That match had the top four teams in our current district points ranking included in it. So we knew it was going to be a barn burner, and it was incredibly exciting. I can't wait to see what the rest of the district championships hold. That was round three. This round three. Lower bracket in round three. What are we in for the rest of the way? Lots of upsets and lots of turnovers. And turning over, speaking of, I think Kevin Ross is waiting to speak to us. All right. Thank you, guys. So... Uh, we have a little break to take here, so they let me come out here and, uh, and do a couple of things. One of them is I wanted to talk to you about uh, opportunity and luck. Um, a lot of you don't really know me that well. Uh, I am, was born and raised in Kirkland, Washington. I was a theater major in college. I screwed that up and decided to go to computer science instead. Great, great transition.